was uh, visiting a friend of mine who has a beautiful garden and she gave me a couple of nice big zucchini. So I'm gonna use this one to make zucchini bread and I'm gonna do the whole thing in the food processor from grating to mixing the um, ingredients. I looked around for good zucchini bread recipe. Generally, I've just taken um, pumpkin, bre pumpkin bread recipes and just substituted zucchini, that works good. But I saw one that looked very nice. It was on a, a site called simplyrecipes.com. I'll put the link below. And what I liked about her zucchini recipe is it used about half the amount of sugar as uh, regular ones, and I, I kind of like that. So let's get started. So the video calls for about three and a half cups of uh, zucchini, which you then drain. And uh, I thought I'd kind of give myself a little um, idea of how much that is. So I filled this up with three and a half cups of water and I put a piece of tape here. So I'm just gonna keep throwing uh, chunks of zucchini in there until I get about this much zucchini, chopped up zucchini, then I know I'm pretty close to where I need to be. All right, the zucchini is, uh, I chopped it up. We have about five, four and a half, five cups in here. The zucchini weighed about two and a quarter pounds. We'll see how that all translates into um, chopped up zucchini in the food processor. Okay, I have about half the amount in there already. I'm gonna maybe do it on pulse or high or low. I'll just see what seems to work best. I'll have to take the top off from time to time to probably to push it down a little bit with a spatula. So let's go. Well, here it is. It's, um, I like to have it almost completely mush. There's different schools of thought. Some people like to put uh, the grater blade on top and grate it so you have pieces of zucchini in it. Um, here in this house, uh, we don't like pieces of zucchini in it. We like to pretend there's no zucchini in it, so this is the best way to do so. I have about three and a half cups. I'm gonna drain this for a few seconds to get a little bit of the excess liquid out while I prepare the rest of the ingredients. All right, I've gone ahead and drained um, the zucchini and it's gone down a little bit from the three and a half cups I put the marker for here, but the recipe did say three to four cups. So. If it's a little on the low side, it's fine. It just means that it won't be as uh, dense and as wet, which is probably just as well. At this point, we're gonna put in um, the wet or the ingredients that go with, with wet things. So one of those is sugar. This is, a, it calls for a cup and a third. So I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm gonna put the other third in. It calls for butter, but I don't have butter. So in its place, I use this uh, country crock uh, baking stick. So I have one and a half of them right here for three quarters of a cup. So I'm going to throw those, those in. Let those be in there. And then I was too lazy to go across the street and get eggs from Eddie's refrigerator. So I'm going to be using Bob's Red Mill um, egg replacers. And it's they're just excellent. They're great if you don't happen to have any eggs or refrigerator goes out or something. You'd never know the difference. I would not scramble these, of course, but uh, for baking, they're just fine. So it's a tablespoon of egg replacer mix per three tablespoons of water. So I have three tablespoons of water here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I have actually six tablespoons because it's two eggs. So I have six tablespoons. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Take a fork and mix it, and I like to let it sit for just a half a minute or so. Let me go make sure all the lumps are out. Usually, this stage also calls for uh, liquid vanilla, but I use powdered vanilla instead of liquid, so I'm going to put the powdered vanilla in with the dry ingredients. Here we go, that's what it looks like. Okay, I've gone ahead and uh, organized the dry ingredients, and I put uh, three cups of flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ginger, uh, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and because I don't use regular vanilla, I use powdered vanilla, I used uh, the equivalent amount, here it is, can you see that white turn around? Use about a quarter teaspoon of this per, uh, it's a, a quarter teaspoon of this dried is equivalent to a half, uh, a full teaspoon um, of the liquid. So I used uh, half a teaspoon of this because it required two teaspoons of liquid. 
So anyway, to recap, the um, spices are the vanilla powder, cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. And I'm gonna mix that up right now with the whisk and pour it into the um, wet ingredients. So get this all ready so it doesn't clump up. Here's the batter, all done. I put about half of the dry ingredients in kind of cup by I mean, a third of a cup by third of a cup through the top and at that point I turned off the um, the uh, food processor and took off the top and just put the rest in. So the batter looks good and what I'm going to do is start uh, grease these and I'm going to start making mini muffins and loaves and whatever else I can make with them. Uh, I preheated the oven to 350 and let's see what happens. Well, here's the final verdict. 72 muffins, mini muffins. They are delicious. Um, some I'm going to keep around, some I'm taking, some I'm freezing. These came out great. The zucchini muffins were a huge success. Here's what they look like inside. They're really light. They're delicious. I would uh, try one for you right now, but I'm such a slow chewer. You would be here for the next uh, two hours waiting for me to finish a bite. Anyway, uh, some of the things you can do with zucchini muffins like this or zucchini bread, in the past I have put like cranberries in them or walnuts or chocolate chips. If you have um, granola, you can certainly sprinkle the granola on top before it goes into the oven for kind of a crispy topping. I just like them like this. I like them the way they are. Um, you can have them with butter or margarine um, or just plain. The mini muffin size is, size is perfect um, for snacks or for small children. They can get it into their hands. Anyway, this is definitely zucchini bread a season because there's a lot of zucchini bread around. And uh, if you don't happen to have a zucchini at your house right now, believe me, it's just a matter of time before you do. <laughs> so enjoy these, uh, these last days of summer as we head into the fall. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs>